One year has passed since I started this only rare challenge and Granny Agami is here to give us some gift for it. There you are, happy budding day. Am I the first? Let's get business out of the way. Guess what I brought you on your big day? It's carrot soup, isn't it? <laughs> huh, got it in one, how'd you know? Mm -hmm. What, too early for carrot soup? Leave it out in the sun, should be warm by lunch. Well, that's one way to heat up food. Can you believe it's been a whole year since you moved into your tree? Time flies, kiddo. It sure does, Agami. My, my, my. That home tree of yours is sprouting up faster than a sauropod. Budding days are about celebrating growth. Your tree, your family, and your community. Now, what am I talking about? You've been to budding days before. If I were you, I'd hang around the ranch a little extra today. You never know who might show up. Here's hoping it keeps you dry for a good few years yet. Happy budding day. Here is a quick tip, even if you don't stay in your ranch the whole day during your budding day, you will still get all of the gifts from the villagers. They will just send it to you via mailbox. So no need to fret about staying at home all day during your budding day. <laughs> it's not needed. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to my only rare Paleo Pines challenge. I'm gonna eat some classic stews and some gra granny's carrot soup because my watermelons are ready for harvest. This is so exciting. Always an exciting day. I currently have two dinos with no pens, but we'll take care of that later. Money is important to keep you all happy, so I'm sorry if I'm prioritizing money right now. <laughs> you were able to harvest 24 3 star quality watermelons and 59 3 star quality spring onions. Yes, let's go. My small dinos are already back to work. Gotta make sure that everything is ready again. I have to buy more watermelon seeds though. I only have two rare dinos to find. So my priorities are just going to be making some money in order to decorate my ranch and finding those two last dinos. Once I finish decorating my my ranch, I think all of my dinos will be helpers. So I don't really need to focus on that. I just need to build them good pens and they'll eventually become helpers. I hope that Avery sells the watering basket now. If Avery sells the watering basket, I think I can change my ranch layout so that my small dinos can do almost all of the work on some patches of land. And I can focus on other things. For some unknown reason, I have two small dreamstones in my inventory. I don't know if I accidentally made too many small dreamstones, but I need four more large ones and I only have three right now. And two of them are gonna be for the Baryonyx and the Dinokairus. So I'm missing one large dreamstone. I don't know if I can transform one of the small dreamstones into a large one or if I need to put it in a pen because I somehow forgot to put a small dreamstone for one dino. I'm not sure. I do know that I'm running out of food though, so I'd have to buy more again. Which is why we also need to start selling more stuff since I don't, I don't think we have enough money. But we have 34 watermelon seeds, who am I kidding? We're gonna be rich, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, one extra T-Rex is no longer here since it's already Jurassic. Oh no, it's already Triacea. Oh, but it's okay. At least we'll have a chance to get a T-Rex during the Triacea picnic, if ever. Avery, no new dialogue for me. I need to keep doing quests with Avery, I think. So that he'll offer more workstations for my small dinos. <laughs> okay, Nalrock. Let's see how much you can give me today. 26,000 for 24 watermelons you know what i'll keep <laughs> i want i want to say that i'll keep one watermelon but we need all the money so <laughs> i'll just i'll just sell all the three star quality ones even the spring onions i'm gonna sell it i'm gonna sell it <laughs> and now i have 35,000. nice i just realized that i never paid close attention to orani's shop and I don't even know how to make dice. It says here to make a purple cloth, I need a white cloth. I know I can buy that from Urani, but I don't know where to get red dice and blue dice. What? <laughs> I've been playing this game for over a hundred hours and I still didn't know about this. Huh. Oh, 
a quick Google search says that I can make dice by putting some items into the windmill here in Ariakota Canyon. That's why I could never remember what I'll get from the Ariakota Canyon. It's it's a different thing. It's not like flour or any cooking ingredients. It's dice. Oh, I think I need lemon. I don't have a lemon tree yet or anything or the recipe for it. But I need it for a quest. So let me just buy 10 of it. Someone wanted a lemon cake. Mm, lemon pie, my bad. Lemon meringue pie. So I just have to follow this, right? I just need to buy tree flower, fiber wood, and then add lemon. I think that's it. <laughs> well, we'll see. But to be sure, let's buy extra. Because I might mess it up. So let's buy 20 more. I'm sure we'll find some use for it. Wait, I actually didn't know that the Tyrannosaurus are here during Triasea. <laughs> This one shocked me. <laughs> well, hello. I went here to gather some sandstone, not to see some Styracosaurus. <laughs> it seems like I need a lot of sandstone for a lot of recipes and a lot of items I need for decorating. So I'm just grinding for some. How goes the growing kiddo? Any tomatoes in the bag of yours? Well, I, I have, but I don't know if it's in my bag. Oh, yeah. Nice. Thanks. This should keep Willem and Skillem occupied long enough to let me do some tidying. I want to store for you. Only found one seed. If you get yourself out Ariakota directions, you'd find a lot more. Still, maybe it'll help bring some parasaurs to your ranch. What was this quest? Why was it stuck for so long? <laughs> lucky will feel lucky having some fresh mangoes to eat. Get it? Well, thank you. Oh, it's a quest from the parasaur puzzle. Oh. I totally forgot about that quest already. I didn't know I could still trigger it. Anyway, we need to buy new watermelon seeds. I think I can buy 24. No, let's just buy 12. Just enough to make sure that we can replant them. No, oh, wait. We were gonna expand our farm, right? We were gonna expand it with a 4x4 plot of land. Okay, so let's buy 16 for that plot of land. Am I sure though? Maybe we can buy 32. So all wet watermelon. <laughs> nah, let's buy 16 for now. It's quite expensive. I haven't really planted corn yet, I think. So we can also buy some bushes from Granny. And I think I'll do that. Just so I can have more random decorations on my farm. <laughs> I'll buy five gooseberry seeds and buy cranberry seeds. I'm also going to buy some flour for cooking. I don't know how much I need, I'll just buy 15. Also, I haven't bought one before, but I think we'll go with a large seed pot. I'll just buy one. I already have the large produce basket. Hmm, what are the other things we need? Take a fence. More gates would be good. I might also want to change some of my small troughs into medium troughs. Wow. Okay, I still have 24,000. No need to panic just yet. But I bought a lot of things today. Oh, wow. I can't believe this. <laughs> With the new year comes new colors, I guess. Hi. Oh my god, I've been searching for you. I've been searching for you. Okay, I don't really have anything to tame you with yet, but I'll be back for you. That's a rare T-Rex right there. Shamrock rare T-Rex. I'm not a big fan of the color. I was hoping for a strawberry milkshake, but it's okay. We'll take it. I hope we can find another color in the future, though. <laughs> if ever, that's going to be the one that I'm going to let go of. I really want the strawberry milkshake T-Rex. Or the vanilla coffee one. Vanilla coffee? I, I don't know. The latte? Something like that. The coffee sounding name of the T-Rex. I love those colors. Most rust color dinos are rare or ultra rare. And when I saw this, I, I was like... Wow, am I cheating today? But no, it's not It's not a rare dino. But hi, it's an uncommon one. We're close to finding a rare one as well. Oh wait, someone gave me a mango sprout. Oh, this is from Agami. Nice. T-Rex likes fragrant food. And now for our last dino, we really need a lar another large dreamstone. If I have a spare small dreamstone, I can just ask Freya to turn it into a large dreamstone for me. 
but I'd have to check. I have a feeling that I just misplaced one of my small dinos and didn't give them some small dreamstones. Oh, I didn't realize that T-Rex also have a very hard bar here. Like, look at that. <laughs> I knew it. I knew I was gonna get it to sleep. I should have just offered my favorite pop-in, but I only have three, so... Wait, you can't be bored with me. You can't be bored. Actually, let's take a picture while you're bored with me. <laughs> because the alternative would be you wanting to eat me. Okay, I didn't even need to do anything. So this time, we're gonna roll the dice. We're gonna give it a figure and pop in. Cross our fingers. Hope that it will like it. Oh no, it will become overexcited. No? No? Okay, no. I don't want to do a 50-50 again. I, I can hope and pray that it will land on the dark green portion. Wait, I never I never noticed that T-Rex are hard to befriend like this. It's okay, patience. We'll get it eventually. We'll make it land there. Ah, nah. 50-50, let's go! <laughs> oh no! Oh, yes! <laughs> it likes it! Yes! Okay. Not gonna lie, I was scared. Lucky and the others look so small in comparison to the T-Rex. Just look at them over at the right side. So small. <laughs> oh, I just thought of a name for my T-Rex. We're gonna name it Toko. It's a kind of reptile here in the Philippines. I'm gonna show a picture on the screen. Here is a Toko. And for some reason, our T-Rex friend here reminds me of a Toko. So... <laughs> You're a cute toko though. You're a cute toko. Don't worry. <laughs> Wait, what? There is a sixth poppin flavor? I was just looking at my stats to see if there's anything here about the number of dreamstones that I already got. But instead I found this. Poppin flavors found 5 out of 6. What? What's the last flavor? Wow, I, I didn't know that. And I also didn't know that there are some stats about the plants and the NPCs here. Hmm. I am best buddies with Mari, Marlo, and Owen, and I've been neglecting Avery and Freya, it seems. Oh, I didn't know that I can get the total shells earned statistics here. Oh, that's nice. Before I go back home with my T-Rex, I want to check if I got everything from the secret pond over here. I don't even know if we can access it today. Let's look. Oh no, it's filled with water. I have a feeling that I haven't obtained one dreamstone here. Is that it? Over by the crate there? Hmm, I'm not sure. I know I haven't found all of the dreamstones yet, but... I cannot remember which ones I haven't gotten already. It's okay. I, I think we'll have enough dreamstones. But I would have to let go of one of my desert dinos, like Pinili, maybe. Oh, you're a cute color. Oh, the name of the color is Hyacinth. I really like it. The dino helper here didn't finish their work, but they ran out of stamina. So we have to help them a bit. Oh, I would need to buy more watermelon seeds. Since we got a T-Rex as well, I think we need to buy more fence and fence gates. Okay, first let's buy more watermelon seeds. I currently have 13. Let's buy 3 and then another 6. So I have enough watermelon seeds for 2 4x4 four four plots. It's gonna rock in a lot of money. <laughs> oh, I forgot to get some stone so I can order more stone walls from Marlo. Eh, it's fine. I'm just gonna get some extra gates as well so we can combine some pens if need be, or we can add more entrances to the pens. That's always convenient. And I'm gonna buy 99 wooden rope fences. Now I want to order more from Marlo. Well done. I guess it won't hurt to have this. It's a really cute chest. <laughs> oh, I don't have enough forest wood for this anymore. I wanted to buy this as well next time. Oh, hi, Zara. Myra, you must be beyond proud. Look how far your tree has grown. Your farm is strong, the soil is good, and your home is blessed. Happy budding day. May you celebrate many more. I wanted to bring you something extra special, so I tried my hand at baking. Zara mango cake. Thank you. Now, for our plan here, we need Ligaya. We left Ligaya. <laughs> oh, hey, you're just here. Thank you. 
Yes, stay with me, okay? Okay, so something like this, maybe? Okay, so this is what two 4x4 plots look like. I can actually expand it more to have one more over here. Another 4x4 one. Or I can expand it to the middle like this to have more 4x4 plots. But I'd rather not for now. So let's cover this up. <laughs> so the harvest basket covers everything. Oh, I forgot I bought three large produce baskets before. <laughs> I already have it. Oh my god. Okay, this should cover everything as well. I'm not sure where to put the watering can once we have once you have unlocked it. Maybe be just behind this seed basket over here. Or seed pot. And that's it. We just need to assign some dinos over there. We're still trying to befriend Sarah. So let's make sure that their pen is always nice and clean. Oh wait! We are friends with them. <laughs> they are already a helper. I didn't know. I didn't notice. Or I noticed and I forgot. Anyway, I won't complain. Here you go, Sarah. Yay! Oh, it's a good thing that we left some spaces all around our farm because we need to put we need to put a pond somewhere here. I'm just gonna put it off to the side like this. And let's ask you to water it. Do you have stamina? Good luck. <laughs> oh, Brownie. Brownie doesn't have a pen. Why is Brownie not complaining though? Huh. I don't think Brownie has a pen now. He is not included here though. Oh! Oh, whoa! It seems like a lot of Dido's don't have a pen right now. Whoa, I'm so happy that they're not yet angry at me. So some of them forgot their pens when I did some rearrangement, huh? Especially the patches. That's supposed to be on that pen over there. I guess they forgot that it's their pen. Since I decided to change some of the fences over there. I don't know. Okay, Liit, you're gonna be me. This is gonna be our new work hub. Liit doesn't have any stamina anymore though. Oh, but we can help with that. Liit likes crunchy poppins. And we have a lot of those, right? I can afford to be generous, especially with crunchy poppins. I have an abundance of that. Okay, Liit, here you go. Have some crunchy poppins, replenish your energy, and work for me again. <laughs> Thank you. Go, go, go. I need all the small dinos here to help me. Oh, I'm bringing Skelly there, and they also don't have a lot of stamina anymore. This one likes juicy poppin. You know what? It's okay. I also have an abundance of juicy poppin, maybe. <laughs> oh, I have 15. Yeah. Okay. I can also afford to feed you. Now go, go, go. Work for me. Now we have to find the stray dinos. That's why they're just outside. They didn't have a home. Okay, between Kahel and Gabi. <laughs> you might have forgotten it, but this is your home. I just changed a little bit on your fence. Don't worry, that's still yours. <laughs> and now that Kahel is over here, we can ask Kahel to help us on these plots of land. What? Liit and the Skelly are already out of stamina? It takes a lot of the small dino stamina to plant seeds with. I'm here to give you something to- Here, have some more. I cannot find Liit right now, so you'd have to work some more. <laughs> I think my two dinos are enough to plant everything right now. So let's leave them be. One thing that I want to do is to replace this one with a valley dino biome dreamstone. Okay, there we go. And these two dinos have finished planting everything. Good, good. Now I have more seeds to water at the back. <laughs> Dearest Mirabels, I hope this budding day finds you well. I have left you some spring onions. I hear they're excellent to cook with. Enjoy. Thanks, Owen. And Pippin gave me some poppins. Crunchy poppins. Oh, and Marlo is here. Marlo's supposed to give me something nice. I couldn't miss your first budding day. Wow, I gotta say this old ranch has never looked better. And your home tree, it's the finest I've seen it in decades. Yep, a lot of love must have gone into this old ranch to make it yours. I brought you something to mark the occasion. It may not look like much, but trust me, that broom will help you make grand sweeping changes on your ranch faster than you can say swish. Hope that makes life a little easier for you, like you have for all of us. Happy bedding day, my rare bells. See you at the plaza. And now we have this 
help, very helpful material. We will be able to clean up the decorations faster with the use of this. My wrench is starting to get a little bit dirty, so let's do some tidying up before I decide what to do next. <laughs> now, before I forget, Kawawa is also a helper. I'm tidying up some debris on the wrench and I'm making sure that I have enough dreamstone for everyone and just enough. I might have accidentally put more than what we need. Oh, I'm seeing all the poop that I need to clean up soon again. Okay, Brownie, because I forgot about you, here, come with me. I'm, I'm going to give you a special place just for yourself. You see this pen over here? It's all yours. I know you only need a small pen, but you deserve this. <laughs> you deserve this. It's an 83 square meter pen. Huh. Oh, I don't have a small dreamstone, but I have some decorations for you. Please wait for your dreamstone and your trough. <laughs> At least you have a couch here under the tree and a bush decoration, huh? <laughs> I'm gonna place the same pads here just to ensure that everything is coherent. And here's some deluxe carnivore food just for you. <laughs> mm, I'm seeing some of the troughs here that are almost depleted. And this one is completely depleted. Y'all are high maintenance. <laughs> High maintenance dinos. Someone's at the ranch again. Mary! Hi! It's quite late already. It's our budding day, ain't it? I know we haven't had the chance to hang out much, but I managed to rustle up a little gift. Potato seeds! Okay, <laughs> but whatever, you're the farmer, right? So you know they'll grow into something wonderful. Nine potato seeds, thanks, Mary. <laughs> I'd love to stay, but there's a raptor I gotta rush after before it leaves the area. What? I've got, I've got lots of raptors here in my area, but okay. Oh wow, we really do have some, or a lot of tidying up to do. Like, look at this, look at this, it's it's the third druid poop. God, I guess there's no arranging tonight, <laughs> only poop scooping. I figure out how we can have two dinos together here in this area. So Raha is a pack herbivore dino. And Dino Kairos is an omnivore pack dino, so we can place them together there. If only I can find the Dino Kairos. Well, it's gone. <laughs> I guess it doesn't want a roommate. Okay, if you don't want, then don't. <laughs> a T Rex is a loner dino who needs a minimum of 50 square meter pen, if I recall correctly. T Rex needs 50 square meters, Baryonyx needs only 25 square meter pen. I wonder if we can divide this up into two. I'll have a lot of space in the middle though, with not much to transfer over here. The only dinos I really need to transfer are these small dinos over here. And they're not gonna occupy a lot of space. Oh, they are hungry here though. Oh, I don't have food anymore. Oh wow, I'm poor. I'm poor already. We could give them just the normal food for now. Wait a minute, they are they are carnivores here, not her herbivores. Okay, so the small dinos from Dapplewood are all pack dinos. That means they are really crowded in this area. Okay, so the small dinos from Dapplewood are all pack dinos. That means they are really crowded in this area. I placed all four of them in a single pen. They didn't appreciate that. <laughs> I'd have to change its location. So based from my understanding, I need four more pens. Two small ones for two small dinos each. And then two big ones for a Baryonyx and a T-Rex. Then we need another one for the Megalosaurus, which I don't have yet. Oh, I don't have enough stamina to scoop up any more poop. Okay, let's leave that for later then. <laughs> I don't want to fall down every single time I try to do that. Okay, so five pens. Oh, this is the first pen. We need four more. I think we could put the small dinos in the middle. Yes, we can do that. And then we can have weird ones over here for the larger dinos so i placed one over here i'm trying to avoid 
placing rectangles just because i feel like the paths are gonna be much better if the roads are not straight so i'm trying so what that's three in total we need two small ones at the center of everything so i'm trying to make something like that in the middle but i ran out of fences i wonder if i still have some in my storage oh i have 40 more okay nice oh this looks chaotic <laughs> just like how i decorate in animal crossing or other games like that <laughs> i love it though <laughs> 26 square meters, that's enough for two small dinos. How about this one? 23 square meters. Oh, that's the only problem. We don't have enough space for this one. 26 and 25. Okay. Should be enough for two small dinos. This one has 91 square meter pen. Quite a large pen there. Over here is a 57 square meters. Okay, should be enough to cover everything as well. And a 66 square meter pen for those loner dinos. Oh, I was wondering why the day is so long. I forgot. Last episode, I really wanted to get the baryonyx. So I put my day length to relax and I forgot to place it to standard. That's why. I I was so confused on why the time seemed so slow today. Wow, sheesh. I keep waiting to pass out earlier and I wasn't. It's because of my day length. <laughs> oh no. Well, on the bright side, we were able to arrange all our dinos because of that. <laughs> here we go, here we go. Look at all the large dinos waddling after me. Slowly but surely. Okay, T-Rex, you stay here. Baryonyx, you stay right here. And our Dino Kairos would be with Raha. For our T-Rex, let's give them a Dreamstone somewhere here. There we go. And Baryonyx also needs a large dreamstone, which I'm gonna place over here. That time is finally here. Okay, this this pens will need two small dreamstones each. Okay, we passed out before we could finish that area, but for now I'm gonna prioritize our crops. We need to water them all. Dapplewood Dino area is going to be quite compact over there. I would have to figure out a better place for my three dinos here though. I feel like I feel like they look they seem weird in that area and that I can probably use that area for something else. We harvested some spring onion and some carrots today, but I'm not too excited about those harvests already. <laughs> also, since this is already a large produce basket, I don't think it will be enough for the watermelon area. Oh wait, why did I plant watermelon there? I should not have planted watermelon oh, at the back because if I'm gonna use the harvest basket, then the food buffs will not be applicable in it. Never mind, this harvest basket is not a large one, I checked. <laughs> There's still no rare megalosaurus today, so next thing we're gonna do is to arrange these dinos into their new pens. Follow me! <laughs> These small dinos can be hard to find, so I'm taking them two at a time. Okay, that is Carrot and Musica. I will bring your dreamstones to you next, don't worry. Okay, we've made sure that our Archaeopatrix Dulampasigan and Bulingit over here are following me already. So I can start cleaning up their pen. And it's now way easier to do it using the brush. I wish that the items go straight to my inventory sometimes though. Now I have to pick it up one by one. <laughs> At least removing paths should be easier now too. <laughs> the two smallest dinos. I think they are the two smallest dinos in the game. The Nambasigan and Bulingit over there. <laughs> You're gonna stay here. Let's place some food troughs. Oh, I think one of our small dinos is gonna have a medium trough. Hold on. Let's check if any of our big dinos are using a small trough. We can interchange it. 
Ah, uh, this tree over here. There are three dinosaurs over here, so you deserve a medium trough at least. <laughs> yeah, so bring back your food. Hold on. Oh my god, Bayani. <laughs> I place the normal herbivore food in their pen because I want to prioritize the deluxe one for Bulingit over here, who is still not a helper. So there you go. Let's also remember to put all their dreamstones back like this and make all of their pens into dapple wood. I really thought that this table is going to be much larger than this one. I was quite surprised when it was just that small. <laughs> Do I still have enough decorations for the rest of the pens? Hmm. I think I need to buy food. Even if Corlan is not selling deluxe food today, I still need to buy something. Also, I need double wood decorations. Yeah, I cannot transform everyone's biome for now. Let's prioritize transforming the biomes of our dinos who are not yet helpers then. Oh, and I am starving my T-Rex. I am starving the large dinos that I just placed in their new pens. Sorry. At least they have dream zones. <laughs> Not me placing the smallest decorations on the T-Rex's pen. <laughs> and I don't have any more decorations. I still need to put troughs though. I think I neglected this one. Okay, one last trough for our small dinos here. Unfortunately, they don't have any more food. So we'd have to go to Corlan for that. Okay, so the Lampasigan is a helper. Bulingit is not. Our small dinos need to be arranged in their new work hubs since, since I took some of the helpers and placed them at the back of the house for the watermelons. So the other ones need to be redistributed, I think. Especially for the plots of land that have a lot of harvest always. Like this spring onion over here. Gotta make sure someone is working the fields there. Carrot and Marinag are working on this area. Ah, oh, it's okay. Wait. Marilag. I need to change Marilag's area, I think. Yes, Carrot can handle the harvesting, Marilag. I think you need to help me over here. Wait, someone is already helping over here. Uh, what about over here? <laughs> no, I doubt that they need help there. Oh, I should not have rearranged my small dinos until I get all of the harvest baskets in place. I'm also gonna place another storage area over here. Or somewhere around here. It's always helpful to have a lot of storage around the ranch. Now, this last remaining pen is for our Megalosaurus. And I think the rest of our dinos are now arranged neatly over here. Some of them just need food. <laughs> Why is Kahel in other pens? Oh, they are unhappy with their pen. Okay. Maybe because their pen is not good, that's why. Kahel is supposed to be with the other Apache, but I guess they decided to wander around today. I keep seeing them on other pens. I, I saw them on the forest biome earlier. They're just running around. Wait, I placed everything in their proper pens and I still have two small dreamstones. That means I can transform those into large dreamstones. At least one of the small dreamstones, I can transform it into a large one. Wait, wait. I placed Brownie over here. I gave Brownie a big pen and lots of food, but I did not give him a dreamstone. Oh, I'm sorry, Brownie. I keep, I keep messing up things with Brownie, but there you go. <laughs> You are now happy, I suppose. Time to order more stuff from Marlo if he's still there. If he didn't grow tired waiting for me. But I think our priority should be the Dreamstone, so I'll go to Zara first. If he's still there. I almost forgot about one quest with Pippin. It's already Jurassic, so I can start collecting cranberries again. Freya is no longer here, sad. Marlo is also back at his home now. But we still can try and buy some decorations from Corlan. Oh, food. Food is the important thing. <laughs> I'm always gonna be grateful that Corlan is open 24 7. 
Oh, I don't have any space in my inventory. I guess we'd have to sell this. Oh, wait, wait, wait. I know what we're gonna do. We are going to leave some of the stones over here. They're just gonna be on the ground. And it's gonna be all ready for Marlo. <laughs> so, so this is my storage here in Pebble Plaza. I hope it won't disappear though. Okay, we made some space in our inventory. We bought one stack of carnivore and herbivore deluxe food. I still want to buy more, but I'm broke. I guess I'm back to being poor. <laughs> okay, I will leave 5,000 in my pockets. This should keep all of the dinos here in the forest biome well-fed and happy-ish. <laughs> I want to be able to give carn good carnivore food for the large dinos too. Uh, let's see if we can afford some. Okay, we were able to give some deluxe carnivore food to the others. I'm hoping that all of the small dinos will be friends soon. You should be friends with me, Bullingit. We are almost done with this area. It just needs paths, more dapplewood decoration. Let's start placing some paths then. I think for Dapplewood Forest, I want to use this path. Oh, I have an idea for the pathing. What if I do something like this and in the center is going to be a dirt path? Oh, it doesn't join quite as well as I hoped it would. <laughs> Never mind. Wait, are you telling me that I can't use my brush for the path? What? What is this for then? Oh my god. All that time. I thought I'd be able to use it on paths. That's why I was willing to experiment with it. Oh man. Okay, for the pathing here, we're gonna do a different sort from the one that we did on the desert area. So we're gonna fill all of the paths itself with the stone cobblestone. Oh, I can't afford it though. <laughs> I don't have enough. We need to buy more from Freya for this. So I'm just gonna fill all of the things outside of the pen with pads for this area. Hmm, it's, it's a bit weird though. It's a bit weird. But maybe it will be less weird once everything has transformed into a forest biome. I'm not sure, but I'm not willing to dig this all up just for me to return it again. So I'll leave it like this for now. Actually, I think that we don't really need to fill in all of the spaces with pathing. Maybe I can just put paths here and there. Like a chaotic sort of paths. But, you know, you would realize that there's a path. So something like this. I don't need to fill every single square with it. Just something for the eyes to follow so that they'll have a general gist of where to go in my ranch. So I'm thinking something more like this. Unfortunately, I don't have enough of the path to fully fill the area, but I'm kind of liking the vibes of it so far. It's a new day and this is still an uncommon Megalosaurus. I was hopeful that maybe we would get all of the dinos today, but I guess I'll leave that for the final episode next time i'm not sure when i'll be able to upload it because i'll be grinding for the megalosaurus so i don't know how much time that will take but for the last episode i'll try to finish up all of the quests that i have like baking a pie to owen and bringing all the ingredients to him then i'm also gonna do some ranch decorating of course i'm gonna continue that path that i've been making in the forest area of my farm but for now, I think this episode is long enough, so I'll stop here. Please wish me luck on getting a Megalosaurus, an air, a rare or an ultra rare Megalosaurus for our final episode of this challenge. Thank you so much for all the support. Please like and subscribe if you haven't yet. Thank you for watching. Goodbye for now.